so kind of went fishing without you guys last night. Uh, sorry. But it actually kind of worked out because it gave me and Shane time to talk and just kind of hash out some ideas for different videos. And he said something that I can't believe I haven't thought about before. So, welcome to my Tips for Fishing series, first installment. Today, talking about leaders. So, this is a 12 inch stainless steel leader. I can't remember what brand it is, but not important. So, you can see here, if it'll not focus on my face, this is wrapped in an outer coating. It's stainless steel wire, but it's doubled back and wrapped around itself, making a loop so that you can attach this kind of snap swivel to it. And this is the end that you want to attach your hook or your lure to. I actually have a setup on my big rod where I've got a circle hook right here. It's my catfish setup. And then on this end, if it'll focus, this is where you tie your line. Now there's all kinds of different knots that you can use. Um, me, personally, I use a polymer knot because it's quick, it's easy. Um, that'll probably be installment number two. I'll be going over how to tie a polymer knot. Um, super quick, super easy. You don't have to sit there and count twists like you do in a clench knot, which is another knot that I would be more than happy to show you. So... Why do you use this? Like, why wouldn't you just tie your line to your lure? Well, specifically out here in Maryland, we get some fish with some pretty gnarly chompers on them. A pickerel, I've even seen a northern snakehead where I fish, which is invasive. You should definitely not put those back in the water. Do not release your snakehead. They are delicious and they fight hard. They're fun to catch but they are invasive, they do not belong here, so please, do not release your snakehead. Take it home and eat it instead. So this is stainless steel wire. So unless you've got a fish with teeth that can act like tin snips and cut through wire, you're not gonna lose your fish. Whereas if you had like braided line, that line gets caught around their teeth and it gets frayed and then it can snap super easily. Monofilament, same kind of deal. They can cut you right off. So this keeps the fish's teeth away from your more delicate main line. Also, um, with a leader, especially one with a snap swivel like this, it allows for you know changing lures or hook styles pretty quickly. You just push down on this. It's like a safety pin. And then you can thread your hook onto that, close it back up, and then you're good to go. So that's kind of the basic rundown on what a leader is and why you should use it. Um, there's also uh, different options for leaders. They don't have to be stainless steel because this is fairly visible in the water. But these are good for, like, catching big fish. These are good for, like, catfish, big striper fish that aren't scared of gear. But if you're fishing clear water for, like, largemouth, you can actually use a different type of knot and tie your braided line to, say, about a 12-inch piece of fluorocarbon, which is super invisible in the water, and you can use it to fish a more delicate, a more finesse setup to catch largemouth. Not that I've ever had any issues with catching largemouth on braid. Again, largemouth, not typically line shy if you catch them while they're feeding. 
So yeah, there's my sales pitch for leaders. You can usually find these at like any tackle store. Um, I don't have any experience in trying to make my own leaders. Um, at least the stainless steel variety. Like I've, I've tied fluorocarbon leaders before. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And, uh, I'll catch you on the next one.